Thanks for coming. Let's get started. Sure. Okay. Right. I understand you want to embed a web page browser in a PowerPoint. Creating a web page within PowerPoint is useful to be able to access web content in the middle of a presentation. You can have it at the end of the presentation and branch to and from it from any slide. However, you will have to make your PowerPoint macro enabled and select the enable security option at the beginning of each session. Choose a slide to place the web browser on. Name the slide to make the hyperlinking easy. On the developer tab click on more options and scroll down to Microsoft web browser. Select this and click OK then draw a box in the slide for the web browser. Use about 90% of the page leaving a space at the top or bottom for the address bar. Next you place a text input box and a command button above or underneath the browser. Click the text input box and draw it out as a long rectangle. Then click the button and draw it out beside the text box. The button will tell the web browser to look at the text box for the required address. With these three components on the page we now need the macro part. Double click on the button and you will bring up a visual basic page. We need to type in one line of text to get this working. We browser one dot navigate open bracket text box one close bracket. That is the line that needs to go into the button code which you need to type in. Now close the VB screen windows with the red X's. Click on the command button then on the properties menu in the tab or right click and select properties. In the caption field change the text or whatever you want to say on the button. Go. Search. Seek. Etc. Then close the properties with the small x. Your browser should now be ready to go. Save the PowerPoint as a PPTM file. Run the slideshow, F5, and type in an address in the text input box. Click your command button and the web page should display. Note. This is a very basic browser and some script content may not display correctly. A further customization that may be useful is to provide a back button to quickly return to a previous page. This requires a second button and a second VB line of text. The back button is just another button with a code in it. We change the name of the button by clicking once on it to select it, then clicking on the Properties button in the Developer tab. In this Properties area we can change the caption name. To provide the function of returning we need to double click on the button to open the VB editor and type in the return code. We browser one dot go back. Now when we click on go back we will return to the previous page. However, you will get an error if there is no further page to go back to. Things to consider 1. File needs to be accepted by security. 2. Web page size is limited by page dimensions. 3. Web pages that open in a new window or tab will still create a new window outside.